All right, girl. So I know you don't know me, but you had this question on Go High Level and Webinar Kits the other day in Facebook. And I told you that if I found this answer, I was going to make you a freaking video. So I'm doing this. So hopefully this finds you well. And let me tell you, this took me an entire day of my life to figure out. <laughs> and I was pulling my damn hair out. So I just want to let you know we're going to get this done. So I'm going to show you how to do this with Webinar Kit and then on Go High Level is the same way. So the issue I was having was finding out how to work integrations with Go High Level and Webinar Kit. So let me show you the workflow I figured out, and then I wanna show you where I found this. So when you go on to your webinar kit account and you actually go to the settings, here, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna do the whole damn thing so you can skip through this video, but um, when I was connecting this, you have two options, right? You can either do the integrated feature or you can do a webhook. Now, apparently Go High Level charges you like a, a penny for every webhook you do. And I'm planning on having like thousands of people through this webinar, so I don't wanna pay no $10 every single time you know, because of their lack of integrations. So let's figure this out. So anyways, sorry, I'm all over the place, but you start off going to web in our kit and you go to high level. Okay. So like account integration, super simple. Um, I'm sure you've already done that. That was really easy to figure that out, but then you're like, wait, okay, now that it's hooked up, why isn't my workflow working? It's like not populating the right data. People are getting all of my workflow all at once. So set this up, go here. Okay. And then you want to go to your webinar. So I'm just going to show you the webinar I'm creating. And I just want to show you some stuff. So here's how I set it up. Um, this is all simple, right? Name your webinar, put the duration. That's all easy. Throw your little logo in there, right? That's not the issue. That's easy. So now I go next. So the way that I found out to do it the best is that I've created my own registration page on Go High Level. And then I have created a thank you page from webinar kit. Um, I was going to do an integration to the thank you page, but I just chose not to because I couldn't find a way on go high level to do Google calendar um, reminders and invites. And I want that button on there that says throw this shit on your calendar. So I'm using the thank you page from webinar kit because that had better integrations in my opinion, but I want them to go to go high level and use my funnel so that, you know, it can be tracked through there properly. So um, if you want to embed your actual thing in here, you click on, so I have to show you this, sorry, let me go back. So there's a little toggle thing here, click this to do embed a registration widget and you still have to go to the editor. This is confusing to me. So once you click this feature to go to your own page on go high level, you want to click on here and here's like the little form editor, just like go high level. It's a very simple form editor. And then you want to go to view setup instructions and it's give you two codes. Okay. So you have to post both, both of these codes in the code editor and go high level. So I'm going to go back to go high level now. I'm going to go to my um, my webinar thing that I made. So let me find it. All right. So I've created a really simple webinar funnel with just a landing page. I'm not actually using the thank you page anymore. I did create it, but I'm not using it anymore. Again, because the features I think are better in webinar kit, but I still want everything to be housed and tracked in the CRM and go high level. So if we go on to the editor, I'm going to show you. I just built a really simple form or page. I don't know if you've done webinars before, but I'm doing the Russell Brunson one with the three secrets. All right. So let that load. All right. So super simple, right? Save your to see, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Um, here's the time, everything. So this is all obviously go high level. I put two buttons in here, some testimonials. And when you click save your seat, I wanted there to be a pop-up. Oh, so um, when they click those buttons, the pop-up will open. So this is the actual code editor. I don't know if you've used this before. It's a lot. It's kind of tricky. I'm Go high level, like most people don't use this or need to, um, but we do have to use it to connect the two. So you want to open up the code editor. All right, you're going to click on a little thing, open code editor, and then you're going to post these two pieces of data in here. So when we go back to registration, we copy this whole thing, okay? And you want to paste it. So that's number one, you'll paste it. And then number two, it's kind of tricky. For some reason, you have to like, um, you might have to go down and like manually click enter to get to a second, but you want it to say number two. So you want there to be two separate pieces of code in here and you literally just put them back to back. So the second one you copy, just like the first one, you go back there, you have to paste it in and then you save it. It was that simple. Okay. So I'm not going to save this cause it is working. I don't want to mess with it. But now if we click the, um, oh, we click the view button, it's going to open for us. And now you can see that my, Registration page and go high level is awesome. Save my seat. It'll open the pop-up and this form is populated right in there. So beautifully. Okay. But the next thing you want to do to make sure that it goes to the correct thank you page is that we're going to exit out of here. And then because again, I'm using a thank you page from webinar kit, we're going to open up the webinar kit. Thank you page editor. And again, the reason that I'm doing this is because I want to have these links here, all this, and this auto populated way easier on 
webinar kit, then go high level. I was having a lot of issues. So I'm like, screw it. It's a thank you page. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be super intense. I'll just build it on this editor instead of go high level and, you know, throw out my go high level one. So we're back here. Cool. So, um, this page will auto load, um, for them, but you just want to make sure that this is like, this is super simple to set up. You know, you just play with it. It's just like the go high level editor, but I just dropped a video in here telling them about my three secrets, why they should come. Um, and then I put the steps, you know, make sure you add this to your calendar. Here's the buttons. Here's how long, blah, blah, blah. I put my terms and privacy, you know, however intense you want to make this. So when they go to here and they fill out my form, it's actually going to bring them to this thank you page. So it will actually override my thank you page in my next step on go high level and it'll bring them right to here. Okay. It'll do that automatically. If you click, sorry, if you click, um, this button. So just make sure that's checked. So that's the way that I found to do it. Now, if you've already clicked your own thank you page and you click the form and then you embedded the, um, if, just make sure it's set like this. If you're having issues where it's redirecting to your thank you page on your funnel instead of onto here, it's because you've accidentally already set it up to redirect to your funnel. So you just have to go into the funnel at like this editor on the embed thing and make sure you don't have any links posted. I just figured that out. So hopefully that helps. All right. So the last and final piece, and I'm sure this is the piece that you're actually having trouble with is how to get the actual workflow to work properly. This took me a lot of playing. So, all right. So we're going to go to the last page on here. I'm going to show you my go high level workflow and I'm going to show you how I connected it. Okay. So let's go back out of here. Let's go to my workflows. Girl, this was a freaking trip, by the way, it took me a long time to get this right. All right. So let me find my proper workflow. I think it's the last one. Yay. Okay. So go high level has automatic workflows that you can just download. If you just do the vaping, like the webinar registration and confirmation, there's an automatic workflow in the like preset, I guess, whatever the preset formulas or recipes or whatever they call them. So I did that. And then I just edited them for my actual uh, webinar kit. So I just want to show you something. Um, when you are doing this and you need to get the codes, you know how like on a workflow, you'll put like the first name, it'll auto populate. You need those little codes. You find those codes. Once you connect webinar kit to go high level auto populates those codes for you. So you can find them because I'm like, how do you find those codes? Right? Like, how do you find the auto, whatever? So if you go to the contact section and you click this little gear icon, all right, so I'm gonna go back just to make sure you saw that. So go to the contacts, go up here by smart list and everything, click the gear. It's going to bring you to the settings and then it'll bring you to the form fields. So if I type in, in the search bar webinar, it will auto bring up the four codes, the unique keys that uh, webinar kit populated when I integrated, remember when you integrated the settings with webinar kit, it auto populates these for you. So now I have the codes. Okay. So we're going to use these codes to edit the workflow so that it auto populates everything properly and triggers the workflow, how it's supposed to be triggered. This is the issue you've been having. I'm sure if you're having workflow issues. Okay. So we're going to go back to, uh, my workflow. Okay. So this, the set event start time, you need this in here because this is going to allow um, go high level to understand the set time, the webinar time, everything from webinar kit. This is the big issue I was having. So this should fix your problem. So, um, when we have this in here, this is automatic. You want to type in custom field, right? So we want to pick a custom field and then we're going to drop in. Sorry. I said a bird like attacking my window. So we want to go back to these codes. We want to pick this one, the webinar timestamp. Okay. So just so you know, there's four different codes. This contact webinar link is going to give the webinar link. Okay. So that's good. It's going to show where the webinar is actually at. Um, this webinar replay link obviously will give you a link to the replay. Once you have one, I'm not messing with that right now. I'll figure that out later. Um, this is the webinar date and time. And this is the one that I originally put into this workflow. I'm like, okay, it makes sense to me that I need the webinar date and time so that they know when to trigger my workflow, you know, 24 hour reminder, one hour reminder, all that stuff, but that wasn't the right one. You actually want this one, the contact webinar date and timestamp. So not only is this going to auto populate the webinar time and date, it's also going to show uh, go high level when they specifically signed up for this workflow. Okay. So this one's kind of like the catch all for all the information they need. It'll tell go high level when they signed up, when the webinar is and all that shit. So if we go back to the workflow, make sure that that's the timestamp that we're putting in here. Okay. So make sure that's set. And then, um, I think that I'm doing overkill. I put a registration tag in here, vaping register, you know, vaping webinar registration. I put that in there just because I want to overkill it. But if you go to webinar kit 
and you go to the high level automation, you can actually have it auto tag them. Um, but I just like to make sure with tags, I'm very anal about tags. So I put another one in this workflow. I don't know if you'll need that or not. That's just my recommendation. And then you want to put your confirmation email. So, um, again, when we're doing these confirmation emails, what I'm doing is I'm just going to the contacts, these four tags, and I'm putting these in when appropriate. Okay. So we're just replacing, you kind of just got to play with it and test it out, but thanks for registering first name, right? That's easy. Everybody knows how to do that. Um, I'll see you on contact webinar date and time at this link. Okay. Cool. So when I go to my actual contact, I want to show you somebody who's actually enrolled to this webinar so you can see what it looks like when this workflow is triggered under this tags. Okay. So hopefully this is helping you. And again, if you have any issues, like I don't even know if you're going to watch this video girl, but I had so many issues. So if you have issues and you need help with it, you can always get on the call with me. I am just trying to help anybody because I hate having tech issues. <laughs> I know what an absolute bitch it can be when you just need to ask someone in real life for help to explain something and you don't have it. All right, so here's somebody, this is me. I just tagged myself and put myself into this workflow. So I just wanna show you when this workflow is triggered, here's the email that we're just looking at now. So if we go to this confirmation email, thanks for registering, contact first name. I'll see you on contact webinar date and time at this link, contact webinar link. All right, so this is what it actually looks like when it's sent to me. I'll see you in it, see how it auto-populated it beautifully. There's my webinar and then there's my webinar kit. Thank you page. So the link that it's going to send them at this link will be whichever thank you page you designate to send them. So if I go to this link, I'll show you. Um, let's let's actually open this link. Let's see, I don't know if it's gonna work. Cause, but anyways, it's gonna open to this thank you page. Okay, so if you want your own funnel thank you pages on Go High Level, you can do that. Um, this thank you page will automatically redirect them. This is why I like this thank you page too. It'll automatically redirect when the training is scheduled to begin. So on you know, July 11th, when my web webinar is happening, that thank you page will become the watch room automatically, super simple. So they only ever need one link. It'll send it to them in every single automation email until the, the end of time, however many you want to send. I also do SMS. I recommend highly that you set this up if you want help, by the way. Um, you can hop on the phone with me and I'll help you set up the SMS stuff. I actually have done, I, I help people with go high level sometimes. So if you ever need help with that, let me know. Me and my friend Cherith help people with it. And we're obviously I'm not making you like a sales offer or anything. I just want to help you with it. Um, but yeah, so I also send a text message. Thanks for registering first name. I'll see you on this link. Cool. So if you want to see how that looks, here's my text message. I did receive that and yeah. And this link also, if I click it, we'll go to that. Thank you page again. Okay. So let's see anything else with the, the workflow. You can add as many tags and everything as you want in here. Um, I like to wait a day before. I'm going to make this workflow and play with it. I'm probably going to add like five to 10 emails that they're going to get before this webinar because I really want to just heavily respond. I think the more the times you can re remind people, the better. So um, my, t my triggers weren't working before. Like it was not waiting when I first set up the whole thing would trigger all at once. So they get all my emails and all my text messages and it was skipping over the timestamps, the weights. And the reason that was is because I didn't have this properly set. Okay. With the timestamp one. So once I set that it properly triggered, now I can see my execution logs and see how it's actually waiting before it was skipping all those weights. And that's because ignore my names. I'm sorry. just two stupid names. Um, but now it's actually waiting because I have the correct workflow set up. Okay. So that is the workflow. I can't think of anything else you'd need to know. Again, if you want to set up any more um, like specific timestamps or anything, you just go to that contacts, go to the settings, type in webinar, and those are your unique keys that you can add into your workflow. So far, I'm having no other issues. The thank you page is working properly. The workflow is working um, and it's collecting data in go high level and it's using SMS like I want it to. So everything's good, girl. It was a freaking journey getting here. If this was confusing or didn't answer any questions for you, always reach out and I'll be happy to answer. So thanks. Very nice meeting you. Thanks for asking the question first, because I was also having that question and I thought I was crazy. So <laughs> thank you. And hopefully this helps you.